Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. And off screen, I went around pretty much everywhere and checked where all the blue coins are. So I know where all the rest of the blue coins are now. So let's go clean that up now. So if going first off, there's one more coin left in Delfino Plaza to get. There are only 20 coins in here to get. So there's one at the end of this pipeway just here. So there we go. Now, I need to hopefully remember where I actually left all of the rest of the blue coins because if, if I forget now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to remember. So anyway, let's go out of here. And I think to start off, let's go over to Pinner Park because that seems like a good place to start in terms of blue coins and clean up. There's only four more left there and they're all on the beach. Which is very convenient. So let's just get past these buildings to actually get there. And let's just hop in. Okay, so I'm going to select a specific mission for this. So let's go to uh, probably the Wilted Sunflowers. Actually, no, probably not that one. That's fine. I'll figure it out. Actually, no, it's gonna depend a lot on the Yoshi egg. Okay, Yoshi is here. And he wants... that particular type of fruit. But that's okay. Because right now, when you get some of these blue coins that are just hidden on the ground, we need to spray the beach a fair bit for them. The other one should be over here. Move a bit, bit, bit further back. And that's two of the four blue coins already. The last two we need to get uh, Yoshi for, so let's see if we can actually do that. Just need to spray the beach for fruit to appear. And then once we find what we need, let's give it to Yoshi. Okay, now we have Yoshi. Let's go over here and eat some of these butterflies because there are two blue butterflies and I believe if I'm not mistaken that if I can actually eat one of them or both of them excuse you there we go that one's a blue coin by itself and that one's a blue coin by itself so there we go that should be all of the ones in this level let me just double check yep so let's go to another level So I guess now, let's go to Serena Beach. Probably a good plan. How many are left in Serena Beach? Just to make sure I know what I'm doing. One. There's one in Serena Beach. Cool. Okay. Let's just hop up here. Oh, please go in. Mario, thank you. And I guess the easiest way to do this would be to select the seventh mission for Shadow Mario. Since a lot of, lot of the doors are just open. Actually, no. I could be wrong because I think this blue coin might be mission specific, which might be unfortunate for me now that I've selected this level. But let me go see if it's actually available in this mission. I think I did this on uh, the Haunted Casino thing, so... I don't actually know if it's available in this one, but that's okay. We need to go up to the second floor, I believe. And then check the room with uh, where we got the pineapple. No, it's not the second floor. It's the third floor, I guess. Yes, that would make sense. Maybe? Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm not sure. It's definitely one of the floors. Oh, dear. I think I'm lost. This is not a good start. Does the... Do the floors actually change? I don't think the floors change. Okay, no. This is where we need to be. Let's go down here and break some of these boxes. I think it's mission specific. Nope, there it is. It's just in one of these crates. So there we go. Let's go to another level.
And I literally just ran around looking for the blue coins off screen. Okay. Let's go to... what's it called? Pianta Village. Because we've only got three there to get. And they're fairly easy to get, so why not? Just gonna hop in here. And I think I want to select the secret of the village underside to start off. Because we need Yoshi. And it needs to be night time, I believe. We only need Yoshi for one of them. The other two are just available to us. Otherwise, we need a pineapple. Let's go do that. Avoid the wind. Okay. Where is the pineapple? There. Oh, there it goes into the pit. I can probably grab it and then get out. Where'd it go? It's gone. Okay then. Let me just wall jump out of here then. In all sorts of different directions. Can I just grab that? I feel like I should be able to just grab this. Oh, I can walk into it to make it knock down. That works. A lot easier actually. Going through. So, grabbing Yoshi. Let's head on over this way. And if I can... We can see those blue butterflies up there, close to where we get the fruit. So if I can not fall in a pit and get stuck... Oh, I'm totally stuck. I'm completely stuck. Goodbye, Yoshi. I'm going to need to get a new piece of fruit for you. That's annoying. I'm going to hope that it's pineapple again. It's not going to be pineapple again. It's going to be bananas. Just a guess. So avoiding the pit. Yoshi. Yashi. You shy? I have to wait for him to despawn before he gets over here. How long will this take, though, for Yoshi to despawn, apparently? He probably lasts until his juice runs out. So that might actually take a while. But if I go over there to check, it's just gonna... It's just gonna not do anything. Also, I love how you can just get an extra bounce from this swing sometimes. Because it's supposed to be an extra launch whenever it's swinging. But even if it's not swinging at full speed, it still launches you. It's still cool. It's like a trampoline. More realistic as well. Okay, Yoshi is not spawning right now. It's taking forever. Let me go see how that's going. The bananas are probably going to despawn anyway. Hello Yoshi, how you doing? I'm a sad juice. Let me spray a lot. Get rid of all that juice. You have a lot of juice. Oh my goodness, you can spray so much. Oh, he's out of He's out of juice. Cool. Now let's get out of this pit if I can. I actually need to make sure I'm not in between two walls so I get stuck not being out of wall jump. Looks like he wants the orange thing. So let's grab that. 
This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would because I need Yoshi. And it's just taking forever. It's taking forever to actually get Yoshi to where I need him to be because I'm falling in that pit. It's quite unfortunate. Okay. For real now. Being careful of that pit. I actually might try going up this way. Just so I can avoid the pit. The side the pit is on. So I believe if you can either spin jump or... Um, jump on top of that tree with the fruit on it to actually get up. But once we're up here, let's just eat these butterflies. If I can. Oh, come on, Yoshi. You can do it. Might have to jump a bit. Okay, three, two, one, and that's a blue coin. So let's jump down there and grab that. There we go. And now let's exit the level. And we're gonna hop back in. There's only two blue coins left in Gelato Beach, but we'll go back for those after d doing this. So, Fluff Festival Coin Hunt. The last two blue coins are in this level. The shine. So much fluff everywhere. Okay, so starting off, let's spray the sign and get a blue coin. And then let's head up this middle tree thing here. Just on the outside. Okay, let me see if I can actually do this. So, if we can, get all the way up here. Eventually, somewhere up here. Also, there's a rocket nozzle here we can grab. I don't know if we want to actually grab this, but it can be useful for the Fluff Festival. But I believe, yes, there it is. There's a blue bird we can spray for a blue coin. And that's all the blue coins in this level. Only two more in Gelato Beach, and then we're pretty much done. So for now, let's get this fluff festival underway. We need to collect eight red coins. I just around the world here. You can't snag a piece of fluff without climbing way up high. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. Now I'm going to regret shoot picking the rocket nozzle because it's useful for getting up high quickly. But there's also a lot of areas where it would be good to have the hover no nozzle. Anyway, that's the first red coin. And am I crazy? Is there a red coin underneath? Yes, there is. Oh, that's bad. I need I need the hover nozzle. I don't even know if I can get a hover no nozzle back. Which would be bad. There's probably one over by the hot springs. Probably. No. Up there? No? Oh dear. This could, this could be bad. It's fine. Let's get this blue red coin in there. I really hope I didn't... Oh, I know where the blue block box is. It's at the end of this level. So, yeah, I'm just stuck with this rocket nozzle until I die or I beat the level. Let's see, is there a red coin up here? I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. It looks like I just came up here for no reason. Oh, don't slide off. Don't slide off. Mario, 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 please. Okay. Let's get the one that's underneath the town because if I miss that one, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. Oh, look at that. Cool. Well, at least I get the hover no 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 nozzle back. Jump back in, please. Thank you. The other thing we need to think about at some point is also the... Um... The 100 coins in every level. Because I haven't done many of those. How many of those have I done? 
Ah, uh, maybe I've done a bit more than I realized. There's three left. Okay. Let's go get that red coin that's underneath the village first. Since that one's gonna be the one with the most risk involved. Okay. Now let's go get the rest. <laughs> I don't think I'd have made it if I didn't do that. Hover. Okay. This one's also a little bit risky, but that's okay. Go get the one over here, and probably the one with the fruit. Also, the the one blue coin that we had to spray the sign for doesn't disappear after you spray the sign. Until you leave the level, of course, but it just stays there for so long, which is strange. Oh, so I need that red coin. Don't knock me off the edge. Don't knock me off the edge. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're fine. Let's grab this red coin down here as well. Now, let me see. Where's the last red coins? Um, I think I know where one is. But I don't know if I know where they all are. But anyway, let's go up this tree. Which if we dive onto and then jump, me makes us um, run up the tree faster. Now let's see if I can actually make this jump over to the middle tree. I don't know if I can make it. Oh, that was close. Okay, there's a lot of coins up here. Which could be good, but I don't know if the hunter coins is best on this particular shine. I'm missing one red coin. I need that red coin before I can continue from up here. Also, there's just a lot of these uh, clouds to get up if you need to. So where is this last red coin? Oh, I know where it is. Let's jump down this way. Because right over here in this box pet pile is a ton of boxes. Also, I destroyed like five boxes in one grand pound. That's pretty good. But anyway, there's all the red coins. Now we need to get to the star without dying. <laughs> Easier said than done. Also, no, I don't think the Fluff Festival is the best level for uh, 100 coins. I think probably... Oh, uh, what's it called? Secret of the Village Underside is the best, probably. Oh yes, diving and then running up the tree is so good. Okay, so what we need to do is head on over to the middle over here without falling. If I can. Oh, please don't fall. Don't fall! Oh my goodness. That's the way I'm gonna die. There is also a glitch in this level where you can be, like, you can fall into the death area and then still live. And I don't know how that works, but it's, yeah. That's a thing that can happen. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I just died. But this is a kind of easy to die on level shine thing this sh this shine in particular just yeah it'll probably happen to you in your lifetime where you die in this level what's that sound it's like a gloop 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 sound that's the best impression I can do of it. A gloop, 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 gloop sound. Well, at least this time I know where all the red coins are, so I can get the one at the top last. Which is probably best. I 
Ow. Okay. I'm gonna get the ones over here once I start going up the tree. Or when I'm ready to start going up the tree. Let's get these ones. You can just break that so easily. The one on the top and still break the ones underneath it. Okay. Hopefully I don't die on the one that's underneath underneath the tree. Because those these can be annoying sometimes. Okay, we're good. We just need to get to the top of the tree now. Oh my goodness, don't die, please. Okay, we need to... This this jump from this leaf to the other leaf is fairly difficult. I don't think it was intended to work at all. But this is the best way I find to get up the tree. Especially with the hover nozzle. Okay, red coin. There we go. So, with the fluff everywhere, if we go towards this way, the fluff gets blown around a lot, but there's this particular fluff here that we can grab onto. Oh, don't fall off, please. Please grab. Please grab, thank you. These are kind of like the poles in Super Mario 64. Or like trees in this game, I guess. But anyway, we need to hold on to it as it gets blown way over here. And then we need to jump off of this without dying. And also the hover nozzle is like... There's a box over here, I believe, somewhere. But anyway, let's grab the shine before we accidentally kill ourselves. And now with that done, let's head over to the Gelato Beach. So we can get the last two blue coins there. So, let's select an early mission. I don't know which... There's there's several early missions that you can select for, for, for these. So let's go right back to... I guess... Uh, Mirror Madness. Let's go to that one. So, first of all, text that I can't avoid. Come on, let me go, please. Okay, so first of all, we want to go over to this island over here. And I don't know how I missed this, but I guess it's fairly easy to miss because I couldn't see it. But if we go up this tree, all the way, and I mean all the way, there's a blue coin right there. Oh no, this is, this is, this is, this is problematic. That's fine. Walking up this tree is a little bit difficult. If you can do a triple jump once you're a little bit of the way up though. Oh my goodness, I was hovering and it did nothing. Cool. Good to know. If I can do a triple jump or maybe a side flip, I can get up there fairly quickly and then get a blue coin. Okay, and the other one is surprisingly obvious but not obvious at the same time. So, there is one red cataquack on this beach. So, if we spray it and then jump on it, it gives us the last blue coin. Let's grab that. And there we go. 230 blue coins. But that's not all the blue coins in the game, because there's one level with blue coins in it. Corona Mountain. There are 10 blue coins to get there. But we're going to wait until we have the last five shines to get that, so... I'm pretty sure we actually are up, are up to the last five shines before finishing the game. So, Pianta Village has 
three... No, there's more than that. Oh, there's like ten. Ten. Ten more shines. Okay, so how, how's this level going? Just let me check. Gelato Beach is finished. Let's go to Pinna Park and get the last shine there, and then the secret shine, which is probably the Yoshiko Round secret red coins. So yeah, we're very close to the end now. Just ten more shines. And one of them that I can think of is super easy. You literally just have to go there and get it. Pretty much. This one's actually going to be fairly difficult. Roller coaster balloons. This one is interesting. <laughs> so, there are the balloons that we have to do something about. And we heard that the roller coaster is involved. So I remember how in the Mecha Bowser fight we went on the roller coaster and shot rockets. Well, we get to do that again. But this time we have to pop balloons. And there's also another catch to all of this. We don't have to worry about bullet bills anymore. But there is something else. Welcome to the grand reopening of the roller coaster. We've got a balloon popping water rocket game going on. Wanna try? If you can hit all the balloons with ro water rockets, before the roller coaster makes three loops, you win. And then we will give you a prize. Good luck. So we only have three loops to be able to get all of these balloons, otherwise we just die. Okay. We can get multiple balloons in a single shot, so we probably want to do that as much as possible. It's a little bit difficult to do. Oh, and it's especially difficult to aim. So let's see how well I can actually do this. This is a this is considered one of the more difficult oh shines in the game. Please tell me I hit that. Where am I aiming? I don't know where I'm aiming. Probably at these. Okay, hit two. Oh, I'm not gonna get that. Let's try for those ones. Oh, I missed completely. Cool. Hit that one. Hit these ones if I can. Got that one. Cool. We got 10 out of 20. We're halfway there on the first loop. But we've still got more to go. And if we if we don't get the next two the, the rest on the next two loops, we're just gonna die. Only two more loops on the track. Do your best, Mario. We can try hitting the balloons from way far away. But sometimes it's just really difficult, apparently. Go, go, go! Yes, nice. Just have to get the rest of these ones. If I can even see where they are in 3D space. Oh my goodness. This is not going to work very well from over here. But I'm gonna try. Please go down. More than that. Oh, please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so close. Please. Thank you. You popped all the balloons. Amazing. And that was only in two loops. Anyway. You did it. And as you can see, the balloons reset. So come back and try again anytime. But... Why would we? We got the shine. Oh. Please let me grab the shine. Well, there we go. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.